Hi everyone, welcome to the Radio Channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to make your own hot swappable USB Wi-Fi nugget. Now normally these bad boys come in their own things, but in this episode we're going to teach you how to make your own, which combines the two. Now it's super easy and convenient to just simply plug in another microcontroller and boom! Just like that, I now have a USB nugget. But what if I need a Wi-Fi nugget? Well, boom, I now have a Wi-Fi nugget. Simple as that. And they're super easy and super fun to make. So with all that being said, let's get into making our own. You're gonna need the Wi-Fi nugget kit and also the USB nugget kit, which you can find both of those link in the description on our website. You're also gonna need a soldering station and a computer with preferably Chrome, which we will use to flash any of our seven supported projects, which include CircuitPython, Wi-Fi Deauthor, and more. And once you've got all of those, we can jump into making our hot swappable USB nugget. So what we're gonna do is we're essentially gonna solder the front of the nugget as we would usually. Gonna flip it over. Instead of soldering on our microcontroller as we normally would, what we're actually gonna do is we're going to instead put these female pin headers on here and solder these on in place of the microcontroller. There we go. We're gonna start by soldering all of these on. Now I'm gonna solder on the female pin headers on this part. Now that we've got all those soldered, we can move on to our microcontrollers. Now here's where things especially get tricky. So I've got a completed one right here. And as you can see, the camera will focus. What we did was we actually ended up soldering the uh, long side of these male pins on the bottom of the microcontroller rather than the top where it would normally be. Because what we want to do is we obviously want to plug this into, and we want to do this so that way we can plug this into an area that requires longer pins, that way it can make an electrical contact. So, boom. And that's why we have to make sure that when we're soldering this, well, rather than having the uh, long pins on the top side of the chip, we want it actually to be on the bottom. We're going to do that. So we're going to put these all in. I think I'm actually going to grab a breadboard. You might want to as well, so that way you can make sure that these pins are all properly aligned. Got my breadboard here. I want to put the long pins on the bottom side and then solder from the top. So we're going to put it in. Just like this. And do the same to the other side. There you go. Put it into here. <laughs> You guys have no clue how hard it is to solder at this kind of an angle so that way the camera can see it. You know, this gives me a real appreciation for those uh, soldering YouTubers or like repair YouTubers like Lewis Rossman who have to kind of solder at an odd angle. And with all that being said, that is our Wi-Fi microcontroller all done and soldered. So we can just put that to the side. Now we move on to the tricky part. And this is the reason why I don't like the USB nugget. I have to make a ton of these and it is just a real pain having to solder this many pins. So same as before, we want the long pins to be uh, on the bottom side and then we solder from the top of the microcontroller. Put it down on our little breadboard here. Boom. And now, we solder like normal. The last part that we have to do for this microcontroller is we actually have to solder on these female pin headers. So what I'd personally do is using these male pin headers, I actually put them in here like that, uh, multiple of them, so that way I can solder them uh, and make sure that the female pin headers are actually properly lined up. 
Now the last thing that we actually have to solder is the display on this. So after we're done finishing up with this one, then we'll solder on the display on the other one. All right, so that's that row of pins all done and dusted. And now we can move on to the other side. And that is the last microcontroller that we need soldered. So now I'm gonna remove these support pin headers. And there we have it. And now we need to solder on our little miniature display here. Had to get myself some electrical tape um, because these pads on here are electrically conductive. So just put on some electrical tape right over those. And then same for the other side. And now that we did that, we can put on our cute little display here. And then we can solder these on. And that's all we need for our hot swappable USB Wi-Fi nugget. Now all we have to do is plug one of these in. And it's as simple as that. Let's put a case on it. And if you're wondering where you can get any of these, they are on our store. And you can find those with the link in the description. So now the top of our case. Now, check this out. Boom. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put firmware on this so that way we can actually use this. All right, now flashing this hot swappable Wi-Fi USB nugget is actually really simple. It's just like any other uh, normal USB nugget that you would find. So I'm gonna plug it in. When I plug it in, I'm gonna press and hold down on zero and reset. And what that'll do is it'll put it into flashing mode. All right, so now that this is in flashing mode, I'm gonna connect my nugget. And this is on the USB one right now, so USB nugget, pretty good. And we're just going to click program. And after that does its thing, we're gonna have a fully flashed and ready to go USB nugget. All right, cool. So now that this is done, we're going to reload the web page, unplug our nugget, take out the USB nugget module, plug in our Wi-Fi nugget module, and I know I'm using module and microchip interchangeably, but really, I mean, what else do you call it when you can just easily take it out and then put it back in? Now for the Wi-Fi Nugget module, we actually don't need any special preparation to start flashing this. We can just plug it in and then we can just start flashing after we're done plugging it in. All right, connect our Nugget. We'll read this one. And for this one, I think I'm going to select the deauth detector. You can actually select different binaries to program to the microcontroller from here. But for this sake, I'm just going to go with the deauth detector. Close out of that and program. All right, cool. And then we can reset the device and boom, just like that. Both of our microcontrollers are fully programmed and fully ready to just be hot swapped. And that's how you make your own hot swappable Wi-Fi USB nugget. Now, unfortunately, there are some limitations, such as this thing is a chonker. Look at it, look at how thick this is. This is obviously gonna stand out from your case. Another problem with this is if you put too much weight on the microcontroller, it'll actually fall out from the headers, which is obviously not ideal. But that's gonna do it for this episode. So I'll see you in the next one. Oh, okay. Where you can fall, that works too.